Brought to you by a paid sponsorship from Grim Hollow. Hello and welcome to 5e Perception Review. Today we're making an episode in 10 hours from start to finish using some pre-existing assets, so it might be a short one. Apparently, according to Jeffrey Crawdaddy, the thing everybody screws up in 5th edition is passive perception. Every creature, or seeker in this case, has a passive perception which equals 10 plus their perception bonus and any other bonuses and penalties, if they have advantage or disadvantage, add or subtract 5 accordingly. When you roll a stealth check to hide or sneak, you do it against the passive perception of all the seekers that you are sneaking around. So unless seekers are actively searching for you, they don't roll perception meaning the DC for your sneak roll will be one plus the highest passive perception of seekers in the area. This is better than having every seeker roll because only one seeker needs to roll a 20 to punish a player for investing in stealth. It also gives you two sort of phases, like in any good stealth game. You're up against passive perception until you alert the seekers, at which point they actively search. This part I like, but unfortunately there's a little bit more of these rules. Passive perception is meant to be treated as a floor for perception, so if you roll lower than your passive in an active search, you just take your passive instead. This makes the already risky prospect of taking a stealthy approach and makes it even more frustrating, especially since there isn't a passive stealth score. And what's worse is if a group sneaks, they can't really succeed as individuals, but they can easily fail as a group. I'm sure there are some edge cases where a group will gleefully and silently watch the pally as he gets his skull fucked in by the action economy. But even then, they'll be working against active perception for the rest of the job, so it's only a matter of time before some doofus three rooms in rolls a 20 and raises an alarm. Here are some potential changes to make stealth work a little more smoothly. Passive stealth checks for sneaky characters, or group rolls, where you only roll one die and you take the lowest result across the party. To avoid that inevitable rolled one, which every group eventually rolls and, uh, you know, uh, C situation with Pally before. Alternately, my buddy Elliot likes to do active stealth checks against passive perception, and if those fail, PCs have one full round to improve their chances against the Seeker's active perception check, which they'll definitely roll. Oh, and Seekers can potentially roll below their passive perception because, well, it's a uh, skill. I, I think, in general, perception having a floor for PCs is cool, especially for a DM that wants to run a mystery or something. But the idea of giving it to NPCs can be a little rogue breaking. All right, well, thanks for watching. Brought to you by a paid sponsorship for Grim Hollow, a beautifully made dark fantasy setting for 5e with tons of new options, including transformation rules to play as werewolves, liches, and more. Links in the description. All right, so I'm going to be releasing an episode every week for the next few weeks. If you want to get notifications about when those come out, they'll probably be on Fridays. Subscribe and hit that. Ah, there's a uh, fucking construction going on. Oof. Hard to record. Anyway, subscribe and hit the bell.